Canelo Alvarez just went on a breakfast club. Now, he's about to be fighting Charlo coming up, but he talked about possibly fighting Terrence Crawford. And unfortunately, he said exactly what I said the last time I did a video. The weight class is just too far apart, and he's too much of an OG to go down. Same where Terrence Crawford is at with fighting Tank Davis. Exact same scenario. So he also gave Errol Spence um, some game and talked about should he retire after losing one fight? <laughs> hey, man, y'all think I just be talking crazy. So we're going to play this, and I'm going to make sure I don't show the exact video, but I'll put a still footage so I won't get a copyright claim with it. What was your thoughts on the uh, Crawford Spencer fight? A uh, really good fight. But I, I always I always know new Crawford is better fighter. I, I like uh, Spence too, but uh, if you see. Crawford is a better fighter. Crawford was on this show and he and he said you know, to Charlemagne that he'd be willing to fight you at 158. And I, I think you made a comment mm -hmm. about that, saying there's levels and their weight classes for yeah. a reason. Um, so that fight is impossible or could it, it ever be possible? You're never no, going down to 160, No, right? uh, No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's impossible because, you know, like he say, uh, if he beat uh, Germonta, uh, no, everybody's going to say, yeah, it's too small. Right. And this and that, so it's the same thing. I I respect Crawford; he's a good fighter, but we're in a different weight class. That's yeah. a mega fight, though, Canelo. Mm -hmm. Like you I need mean, to enjoy it. On the flip side, what what advice would you give Errol Spence, seeing this is his first loss? No, you know, I think everybody, when you lose, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard to handle because uh, we don't prepare for for a loss. It's hard, but at the end of the day. You need to see who you lost, and 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 it's boxing. You need to keep up, and you need to keep forward and and not give up. You there is the champion's main when you because mm -hmm. people think Lose. that he. Some people are saying that he should retire. No, everybody say the same thing when <laughs> I fought with Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. and say mm, uh, you need to change uh, trainers, trainers yeah. and mm -hmm. this and that. It's boxing, mm -hmm. and you always in the line. You if you lose or or, or win, it's it's it's, it's complicated. But uh, you know, like I say, nobody's prepared for for a loss, for a loss. But uh, at the end of the day, you need to keep forward and keep fighting. Would you rematch right away, or would you take a little break, take a couple of fights for? Thinking like a like a boxer, rematch immediately. Immediately, yeah. Damn. But you don't see. You can't see uh, Errol Spence beating Crawford no. in any any division, even no. at 154. Do you see anybody from 147 to 154 beating Terrence Crawford? I don't think so. What if he were to go up to 160? We know you're not going down, but it, would he beat everybody at 162? We don't know. Mm. Is, fight, not, is it completely off the table? It's completely off the table. I can't. I can't go down. <laughs> I can't way. go down. The only way he'll fight him if, if Bud goes up to 168. 168. Yeah, <laughs> and and like I say, like. I, I, I saw an interview uh, of Crawford say, because I think they have something with Germonta uh, Davis, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he say, if I beat him, everybody's going to say, ah, yeah, he's small. West too small, and I, I have nothing to win. What's your thoughts about that? So the thing is, 168, it won't happen. Like, you have to think, Bud just fought at 147. <laughs> so that means he will have to gain 21 pounds of fight. Now, yes... He probably walks around at 163. We're going to say he walks around 160 plus. So, yes, him making that weight wouldn't be no problem. But with him, be in, him being in shape for fight mode, he's automatically going to lose weight. He wants his body to be the best. The lowest, what well, the highest he would probably be is 154. And that is literally just being, he's going to come in underweight. Remember that one fight where Floyd fought? And it was so hard for him to gain weight. I forget because Floyd went up, but he couldn't gain weight. So during the 24-7, he was eating cheeseburgers and eating fast food. He like, man, and he still came in like way far under. Floyd is the only one we've seen that put his legacy on wrists to, to do those type of fights. Because, for example, Floyd fighting Canelo was a lose-lose for Floyd, retrospect. So, because it's like, okay, Canelo is younger than me. He's half his age. 
He's stronger than him, and he's the new Mexican hype, right? Floyd didn't have to fight him because Canelo was considered the bigger fighter. Like, look at Canelo now. He's trying to fight at 170-something, and Floyd is like 130. So when you look at it, Floyd embarrassed him. Like, literally, after that fight, people were like, oh, man, Canelo need to retire. You don't, you're not going to bounce back after a fight like that. Floyd, it just was different levels to it. Canelo can do that if he wanted to, and that made Floyd one of the goats. That made his story even better because it's like, man, look what Canelo's doing. He couldn't even hit me. So, and, and he wasn't a new fighter. He had, like, 40 wins under his belt. So, if Canelo did something like that to Crawford, that was submit. That would make his resume even better. Once he beat Triple G, it was solidified. But that would make his record even better. But the risk is just not the worth, worth the reward to him. And going down to 60, most of these fighters, you've been fighting all your life. The hardest thing is cutting weight and starving yourself. And going to a fight, feeling like you're starving. It's, it's just a terrible feeling. I was a wrestler for five years. So I had to see people do it all the time. I was like a Floyd where my weight stayed the same. So I had to cut like two pounds, four pounds at the most. It was... Yeah, I could do it in my sleep in over a day or two. It's easy. But other people, they'd be cutting 20 pounds and 15 pounds and got to get it done in two weeks. So it was a lot different. So it was going to be interesting. I would love to see the fight happen. I don't see it happening because if Terrence Crawford go up to 167 or whatever weight they say it, it's a lose for him because he's getting caught at a catch weight. He's so much bigger. He's going to be slower. He's not going to be stronger. Canelo is destroying him. Now, if Canelo go down to 154, because 160, that's close to even. 154, Canelo's going to be barely making a weight, but it's going to whoop on him because he's going to be tired, and it's, it's going to be lopsided no matter which way it goes. So, unfortunately, that fight probably won't happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you want to see that fight to happen? As I'm editing this, I forgot to say, Canelo, for you to be able to go up and interview, hold on, just speaking Spanish, I mean, without speaking Spanish, bro been working on his English craft because every interview I watch, he never spoke English and always had to have a translator and it make the interview not feel no. regular. So for him to... Be able to do that. Canelo, hats off to you. Working on your English, brother. Amazing interview. You did great.